this is not a good time. I, I hit the wrong button. I did, I did the wrong button. I did that button. And we are back on YouTube for a new series. I'm Spark, and today we're playing Drill Dozer. Now, if you know anything about this game, you may be saying to yourself, Spark, this is a Game Boy Advance exclusive, and you're right, which is why I emulated it. Suck it, Nintendo. But aside from being a ROM, it is also one of my absolute favorite games ever. Like, it, I put it on a pedestal right next to Mario Galaxy and Sonic Unleashed on the Nintendo Wii. It's a game that's basically centered around a single gimmick. Press L to drift left, or drill left, R to drill right. That's it. Let's get into it. That's a fine looking building. I don't know why, it just always is. Looks like we're here. The red diamond those evil skulkers stole from us has to be in this hideout. They're probably waiting for you, so watch yourself in there. Guillermo and I will be supporting you from the back, from back here at the trailer. Thanks, Grutch. I feel very, very supportive. Call us with your drill dozer's comm system if you get into trouble. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Grutch. She could take care of herself. This thing doesn't have a rumble feature in it. It's pretty hefty. It feels like it should. Nani? <laughs> Are you okay, boss? Why? Those eyebrows are a bit thick. The the no, no, as thick as yours. Those, you must have sprung a skulker trap and fallen into a pit. Gee, I never could have figured that one out myself. I mean, did you read the shirt? There's a reason I bought it. Is your drill dozer a one piece? Yeah, I'm fine too. Thanks. Maybe a severe, a minor case of severe brain damage, but still. Can you hear me, boss? No, that's all I could hear. You're still inside your drill dozer, aren't you? Not last I checked. What? We've got to get you back in your drill dozer. You can still hear me, right? That means it must be close by. Yep, 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 When did I turn into Snake Jailbird? It takes a little more than a nasty fall to take a drill dozer out of commission. Just listen to that engine purr. I built it myself. I tightened every screw and greased every gear and you did... <laughs> it's a machine, Guillermo. You can't... Uh, it won't let you down. But you're going to have to find a way back to the surface. I can fix you back up at the trailer. Just do whatever it takes to get out of there. Why don't you snoop around a little? Okay, if you couldn't tell, I have played this game so much I can't, I can comfortably read. Kind of. But a bit of context, this is Jill. You might not have, you might, this is kind of an obscure game, but if you've ever played Super Smash Bros. Brawl and gotten that, she's an assist trophy in it. That's the only cameo she's ever gotten in these Smash games. And believe me, she deserves a lot more than other guys like Captain Rainbow. But uh, this game is centered around a very simple mechanic. Press left to drill left, right to drill right. That's it. All combat and special vehicle segments, except for one very specific uh, stealth segment, are built around that entire thing. Which is why I love this game so much. 
Also, uh, Jill herself is a member of the Red Dozers, a group of thieves. It was included in the Game Boy Advance box with a like little short comic explaining what was actually happening back when getting the box set was actually worth something. But basically, the Skulkers, a rival gang of thieves, stole Jill's red diamond. She, uh, they beat up her dad, Doug. And now they, this entire game is centered around Jill exploring various areas trying to get it back. Oh, the, the sticks don't work. Cool. Going old-fashioned here. Interestingly enough, this game was also, the, as far as I know, the only Game Boy Advance game where the pack actually came with a rumble pack in it. It looked like a fucking tumor on top of the Game Boy, I'm not gonna lie. Hello there, boss. Are you still feeling a little dizzy? You're probably still a little woozy from that fall. You'll be alright. Yes, I fell several stories. Your drill dozer can shred through wall these old walls like wet paper. Go wild and right through the, this wall in front of you. I mean, that's the general idea, Grutch. Oh, I forgot to mention the best part about this. This entire thing is set in motion by the Skulker leader, the horribly and seriously unluckily named Krug, who is a femboy in a bug mask. I wish I was making that up. When I saw him without his mask, I'm like, wait, is that a girl? Who would name a girl Krug? She looks like Nurse Joy in her younger years if she wanted to be Engineer Joy. Oh, that did not come out right. Engineer Joy? That came out, that's almost as wrong as somebody being called Nurse Pain. Hey, Jill. Let me tell you real quick about these self-repairing barriers. The Skulkers keep their hideout heavily guarded. It never arouses suspicion. Self-repairing barriers? What are you babbling about? I'm saying this thing can repair itself, even when it's being drilled. You're gonna have to upgrade your drill dozer's gear to get through it. Luckily for you, there's a gearbox. How do you know there's a gearbox nearby? Look around for a bright red box. Now, I do want to say, yeah. As you may have noticed, when you start re-drilling into it, it kind of pushes the health bar back up. You found another gear. Way to go. Hey, are you paying attention? Absolutely not! Shifting up to another gear adds power to your drill. Now, this is one place where I struggle. Because the gear shift is one of the only unintuitive aspects about this game. So, I'm going to show you. Come on. You might have seen my finger twitch just a bit. That was me pulling it off the R button for just a brief second and then putting it back on. That's how you gear shift. Learning to shift up is important. Yeah, you can't get past the second air, third area without it. It's easily your most important weapon. Yeah, actually. Don't worry if you're not great at it now. You'll get better as you go along. I have wanted to play this game for the channel for so long. I'm glad I finally figured out how to get Retro Arc to work. A young girl with a drill dozer has broken into our hideout. Don't let her anywhere near the factory service. Mod 11. <laughs> now, these weird luchador dinglings are skulkers. Don't worry, they're perfectly alright. I'm just drilling them right in their sternum, causing them to lose corporeal their corporeal form and fly off into the ether. They're probably not alright, actually. 
See that metal block? It's made of some kind of super strong alloy called plot armor. Your drills stand. Your drill does are standards. Me. Your drill does are standard drill won't even scratch it. Shifting up won't help either. Don't bother. You're gonna need to find another way around. You can unlock. You can also, without saying, you unlock stronger drill bits as the game progresses. I also remember that I introduced Sentient Lamp to this game recently. Because he has a hacked Game Boy device to do that thing. I wonder how he far he's gotten. There are all kinds of crazy lifts in this factory. See that? See that one above you? It's called a socket lift. That's where I keep my socks. Drill into the socket lift. You'll latch it onto it as long as you spin your drill. Yeah, interestingly enough, there's an entire boss that's just centered around this and spinning the um, the bomb in the right direction before launching it back at your opponent. It's very clever. Like I said, this is a very well done game. I'm surprised this hasn't gotten a remake, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong has. Thank you, Nintendo, for only caring about the bottom line. We all very much appreciate it. Ah! You may have also noticed that the music is quite repetitive. Get used to it. That's how it is here. Though I will say one thing. The music is composed by a guy whose name looks like Go Itchy Nose. Not how it's spelled, I know, or pronounced, I know. But when your name is G-O and then his last name is I-C-H-I-N-O-S-E, what do you want from me? And everyone, anyone who gives two fucks about the end credits in video games may recognize that name as the composer for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I really wish Jill actually got her own fighter in Smash Bros. I mean, I think there's enough to it that they could get it to work. Though the final Smash might be a little bit cumbersome. Now here it comes. The third drill music will now play for the rest of the level until I finish. Or until I get to a boss. Or a mini-boss. Excessive drilling! Keep spinning your drill to deflect incoming fire. Yeah, unless of course the bombs or missiles have screws or are specifically designed to steam. No! Please! Have mercy! <laughs> Now the reason we went through all that, just to come back here, is because if we came up here originally, it's there would be a... There would have been a tier 3 door. Ah yes, finally some elevator ASMR. How lovely. So this is a tier 2 healing pod. I don't like what it's doing. I wonder if I could finish this entire game tonight. Oh look, a tonk. Can you tell I've played this game a lot? I haven't played it recently. Not since I last played it on the... as a virtual console on the Wii U. Don't forget that you can change directions. Yeah! Press the opposite button to... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, in case you... We're curious. Apparently, the ZR button massively fast forwards.
Kinda wish the Virtual Console had that. It's so cute how it's just a flop. Oh, hey, look! Orange jelly! Do you see that weird yellow jelly block above your head? No, it's literally the second most eye-catching thing on screen. The first being her hair. Actually, you know what? It's, it's definitely the most eye-catching thing on screen. Shut, 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 shutity shut. So yeah, basically by drilling into those at differing strengths, you get launched. By the way, am I the only one who thinks that when she's like this, she, she's just a straight up a Bakugan? Am I the only one who sees a Bakugan right there? Wow, I got a round stone. You found some treasure. Nothing makes ma nothing makes thieves happier than finding some loot. Sure. Okay, now we have this weird bucktooth lift robot doodad thing. Ow! No, but the chip! I want the chip! Got the chip. Yay! I have needed that! Okay. So I can destroy all this stuff, but there's really not much here. I mean, they do have chips, which is nice. But it takes so long. Actually, it, it really doesn't. Maybe if I start with the top stuff first. I don't know. You're getting pretty good with that drill dozer of yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Press B to look. Down. Up. And what? Or. Rapid fire boop. And you can go die on the tip of my drill, which is not an innuendo. Shut up. Uh, chips. <laughs> ah! Being shot with bullets. Slow moving pixely bullets. Come on. How dare you touch me with your wheels? Don't you poke me with your poke poke. Ow! You know what? Fine. You want to poke me with your poke poke? I'll poke you with my poke poke spin thing. Excuse me, why? But, wait, sentient lamp, if you are in fact watching this, there's something you should know. That. That is the third and highest tier of Healy Doodad. And also, here's further proof that I've played this game way too much. Yeah, you just keep fist pumping to whatever hard style you're listening to. This should not be taken out of context. Of course, the only reason that's ever said is because somebody took it out of context and they want nobody else to take it out of context. <laughs> if you, when you kill one, the other usually gets angry and starts attacking more. Like, I think shooting three missiles. 
scoop, but I got him so, down so quickly. He didn't even have a chance to. I took no damage there. What is wrong with me? Go touch grass. Oh, goody, this song again. Because we didn't hear enough of this already. Of course, we've heard more of the uh, the previous soundtrack than we have the other one, so... Fortunately, each level does have more or less its own unique soundtrack. Okay, now these guys are mean, because they can zappy-zap themselves. But they didn't get the chance to, so I look stupid. Thanks. To squeeze through that gap, you'll need to... Dash. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. I love how she's just freaking at me while the drill dose is like, I wonder if a fall from this height would be enough to kill me. Oh no! Ah! Why do you have these things in the office? Like, seriously. What did Jerry from accounting do to warrant this level of security? Ooh, the red demand. What? Have you never heard of knocking? It drives me insane when people do that. God, I, I, I can only assume that's a self-given name, or that name is the sole reason why Krug became a villain. Like, if you name your kid Krug, you just, you're just, you're the villain at that point. He's the evil mega boss. Really? It looks like a giant bug in girls' clothes. That's the red diamond they stole from us. Don't they know your mom left that to you when she died? I'm trying to cry, but my eyebrows are soaking up all the tears. <laughs> I can't believe they would stoop to that low. Only the most repulsive villain would do something like that. A villain? Ha! Huh. That's pretty rich coming from a gang of thieves. Tough luck, I still live fair and square. But if you really want it back... Nah. I think I'll keep it. To you, darling. <laughs> I don't know why I do that so well. It's disturbing. Yes! Yes, it is. What, whatever that thing was. Ah, oh, we're here. Now this is where we get to the first main boss of the game. Each area has two, has two, uh, or yeah, each world has two areas or two acts. The first act usually ends in a mini boss or a sub boss, whereas the the second area will be the actual boss of that area. Let's see if I can no-hit this. Hey, shorty, I'm over here. your precious red diamond back, you'll have to beat me. I don't have much to worry about, cause that will never happen. It's not a good time. I, I hit the wrong button! I did, I did the wrong button! I hit the wrong button! Backing up! Backing up! Backing up! Backing up, backing up.
so every time I do a bit of damage, it barfs out one of those old bombs. I don't know if that's what they're called. That's what I'm calling them. Yeah, now why don't you make yourself useful? Go cram that thing up his t that thing's tail hole. And that's a tail. I'm assuming it has a hole. If nothing else, an exhaust port. I don't know. You've got smoke, kid. I admire that. But all the smoke of the world isn't going to save you now. <laughs> okay. You know that red diamond I sweat from you? I figured out how to harm its awesome and destructive power. <laughs> that, I, I love that little laugh they do. It's so, so silly. That's right, destroy the uvula. What? It's just like Monster House. Basically, any time the thing is opening its mouth, whether it's doing this or just that, it's at that point that you can uh, feather that muck up. What did I just say? That was pretty impressive for a pink-haired ponytail red dozer. You beat me, so I guess I have to give you back this red diamond. Yeah, right. Ha! Like I'm going to go to all the trouble of to steal it, only to give it away. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, imagine that. An evil mega boss not keeping his word. What kind of world are we living in? Oh, that's right. One that's not made out of pixels and filled with weird real themed robots. It's like a retro version of Cubix. Oh, we have the we have the shop. I guess we could do our fat before. An energy take? Yes. And also, can we just talk about this dude right here? What is going on with his hair? Why is he looking at me like that? What is that? Uh, is that his mouth or his nose? Or is that is that his right hand? I cannot tell. There's so much wrong with this guy's physiology. I'm surprised he's not dead. Well, borked physiology aside, that has been Drill Dozer Episode One, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you did enjoy. I did edit a lot more of it out as I don't know. Actually, it wasn't a very long recording session to begin with, less than an hour, which is short for me. But anyway. If you did enjoy and you want to see, see more, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. And if you want to help support me in other ways, you could go subscribe to my group channel where I play games with my brother, my friends, and my brother's friends. Or just follow me on my various socials. Links are in the description below. In any case, you all hack a... Hag? Don't do that. You all have a great day, night, whatever time of day is when you're watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.